guys, my name is Abok Tang, 25 years old, live in Toronto. I uh, signed with BNM uh, Models here in Toronto. I've been signed with them for a year and a half now. When I originally got signed with them, I kind of thought like, okay, I've now got an agency that can relax a little bit. But no, that wasn't the case. I had to put in the work. I was uh, signed for a while, but I didn't get my first job until a couple months into the agency. I felt, and then when I went, when I went to the job, I didn't know what to do. When I went to the casting, I was very nervous, I was sweating. I was like, oh my God, what am I supposed to do? I don't know what I'm looking for. And then, but after a while, I was like, okay, whatever. It is what it is. If they love me, they love me. But, you know, but a while I struggled a little bit because I remember going to one agency and they're like, oh, we just don't think you're the one we're looking for. And I asked them, what are you looking for? They're like, and they just walk me up and down. She's like, it's just not you. I was like, oh wow, okay, thanks. And then I walked out, I remember calling my friends at the bus stop behind, telling them, oh God, to imagine they just look at me and told me that's what I'm looking for. I mean, back then I was a little bit bigger, I could have danced. As a black girl, it's kind of hard to lose my head. And the older you get, uh, you get more heads, you get a bit of stomach in this, but in the modeling industry, all you know is just like you have to small ways, small bits, no one has. But for me, it was a bit of a struggle for me to struggle to find my place and everything like that. And to have the confidence I need to be able to model. But now, like with the agency I'm with, I feel like they don't they don't pressure me to do whatever way they want. If whatever way they want, if I gain weight, they don't care. All they care is like the centers you mentioned. So at least if the clients are looking for, they can get you book you. But with a lot of agencies that I was at, they're like, oh, you just know what we're looking for, but I didn't know straight up that I'm a little big for them, so they're like, yeah, it's not you. And that kind of misses your, your mental health for a lot, because me, I remember when I was younger, I had to, I was so tiny in my hair stuff for a couple months, because I was as small as anything, and I'm a tall woman, six foot, it's not healthy to be size two, or for my hair to stop as long as it is. So for those that are starting out, I have to say, please take care of yourself, your mental health, your physical health, and make sure you don't get pressured to society where like as models are tiny, this size, and fit in. The industry is changing, all right? And just be confident in who you are, the right person will come for you. And whoever is who wants you and wants you to be them is not going to care what size you are, what color you are, or whatever. They're just going to look at you and say, you're not going to be confident in each other.